Why, hello, you watch me playing Star Trek Online. Um, we're going to have a little chat about shields at the moment. So, if I'm going to go... Where did I put my shields? Where did I put my... Ah, they're in my inventory. I actually went to the exchange and bought a load of shields just for you to see. Right, there is four types of shields in the game. We have the regenerative, the standard shield array, a covenant, and a resilient. I'm going to go through the basics of the shields. Now, let's start off with... Oh, this one, the covenant. Now, these ones have the highest level of all the shields, but it has the slowest regeneration. So, if you want a ship that can withstand a lot of pounding, and then you can fly away and spend 10 minutes recharging your shields, these are the shields for you. Right, next one would be... Let's go with the regenerative. Now, these are the complete opposite. These have the lowest shield energy of them all, but it's got the fastest regeneration. So, let's say... Um, it's hard to say if you've got a escort and you fly into battle and your shields are taking one hell of a pound in and you quickly fly out by the time you've turned your ship around for another swarm your shields should have regenerated all by themselves so the regenerative ones have got the fastest regen but the lowest level and the covenant ones have got the highest level but the slowest regeneration now the standard shield array the ones where you get standard with your ship these are a balance between the two. These have average shield regeneration and average shield level, which leaves you with the last ones, the resilient. Now, these have 5% stronger. They are more resilient to attacks. So they have 5% more strength. So a normal torpedo would hit your shields and say knock 10% damage off. Now these ones, these ones minus that 5% damage. So they are stronger than the rest and they also have a five percent bleed throughs now it's hard to explain what the bleed throughs are but all shields let a little bit of energy through to your hull no matter which of these shields they are they'll have a bit of bleed through now if you can see here it says 10 percent bleed through 10 percent 10 percent now the resilience have a five percent bleed through so they are generally stronger they're not as high level but they are a stronger shield um also the regeneration is a little bit lower than the regen ones so that is literally the basics of the shields. You've got your standard all-rounders, which are the ones you get with your ship. Obviously, you can level them up, rarities, etc. You've got your regeneratives, which have the highest regen. They reload quicker, but they have the lowest energy level, so they can wear away really quickly. You've got your corvents, which, again, have the highest level, but they have the lowest regeneration, so they can run out it takes ages for them to run out but when they do you're waiting for some time for them to come back up and you've got your resilient which have five percent stronger they can withstand more poundings so if you've got a slow ship let's say like um either a cruiser or maybe uh was it the carriers their carriers are really slow something like the resilience would be very good because they can withstand a lot of pounding so that is literally the shield basics it's a nice quick video it's not much to explain like as always this is just the basics you can obviously up the level of shields these are level ones you can get up to level 15 you can up the rarities to uncommon rare very rare and so on and so forth that will improve their shield capacity how quickly they regenerate but that is the pure basics so hope you like the video and i'll catch you on my next one where's the logout button gone Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.